Coming up on this episode of Cooking Crave, we have two recipes that don't necessarily go together, but they're great for summer. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Rhonda Fitterer. And I'm Rupert and Didi. And you found a page in a cooking book that they're really excellent recipes. They just probably don't go together. Well, that you'd maybe pair them together, but you would want to make them and eat them at any time. Right. Right. Yeah. Fun, easy, yeah. quick recipes yeah. that are tasty. Okay. So you found a recipe for a bacon tomato bagel melt, mm -hmm. which most of the viewers can say what's in it already. Yeah, that's what's in it. Pretty yeah. good. And we're going to do a strawberry salsa. Really fresh, refreshing. Excellent. That was given to me by my neighbor, Sharon. Okay. And I made it last week, and oh, it was very, very good. Had rave reviews? Excellent. All right, all right. To get... I ate it all. <laughs> so that was all that we needed to review it with. You didn't share it with Dad? <laughs> uh, uh, he had some. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> to make these recipes with us, please get a piece of paper and a pencil and write down these ingredients. For the bacon tomato bagel melts, you're going to need two bagels, eight tomato slices, eight bacon strips that are cooked, a cup of mozzarella cheese, and then some prepared ranch salad dressing. Mm -hmm. yep. So, easy? Very easy. And then for the strawberry salsa, you're gonna need two and a half cups of finely chopped fresh strawberries, a cup of chopped green pepper, two tablespoons chopped green onions, two tablespoons minced fresh parsley, and a third cup Catalina dressing, along with a dash of hot sauce, pepper to taste, and some tortilla chips. Yeah. I think, you know, uh, what I was thinking too with summer, mm -hmm. both of these items are great for, you know, the kids are home from school, they want uh, something to eat, a snack, and uh, a fruit salsa, very good. And then, you know, this tomato bagel melt is really easy for them to make. Right. And that, so those were the kind of things I was thinking about. And I guess I probably was thinking of my grandkids too, you know, they're home. What's there to eat, you know? Right. Oh, and what well, I like. Well, you can just, you know, come down and be our cook. There you yeah, go. There and then we'll, went after wonder. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. So uh, I have a, it says a two, cu two and a half cups of uh, chopped strawberries. And I just had a pound. And okay. it pretty much does uh, two cups uh, or two and a half cups. I just used the whole pound and, you know, that was it. I didn't measure okay. whatever. But so we got that cho chopped. And then it says a uh, cup of green pepper chopped. I didn't have quite full uh, cup of uh, the green pepper. So I had some orange okay. uh, pepper. And I think that's what's going to be so neat about this. You could use the red or, or the yellow or the orange or green. Mm -hmm. You know, in this, it doesn't necessarily have to be any one color. So we'll add that. And uh, a couple of chopped green onions. Okay. With that. And some parsley. And I got had some fresh parsley here, so we'll put that in. And we're going to blend that. And we're going to add a little bit of a pep uh, pepper here. Okay. And it says for the Catalina fat-free dressing. I mean, well, I had the fat-free dressing, but this is what I used. It was excellent. So that's just a third a cup. So we're going to put that in. Okay. You know, and the Catalina is, that's pretty much like that Western dressing, isn't it? Yes. You know, this, you're pretty much the same thing. So, and then it uh, says you put a dash of hot sauce in it. And it, to whatever you have, I have the sriracha. And I know when I made it last week, I did put a good squirt in there. But okay. we probably won't do that today just for the fact for kids. I'm going to put, you know, maybe about a half, half a tablespoon. Okay. But you can always add more. So just go ahead and get this mixed up well. And it makes it really colorful, and the strawberry uh, flavoring of this was just awesome. It pretty much took care of, you know, the green pepper. You didn't even, I know you don't like green pepper so well. 
okay. you know, the raw pepper, and you didn't taste that hardly at all. Okay. And I thought that was quite interesting with that cup of green pepper that I had last week that it didn't uh, even bring out that that flavor. flavor. Okay. No. And so the longer it sets, does it get juicier? It does. It maybe a somewhat, but very little. You okay. know, there isn't a lot of uh, liquid in this at all. But that dressing in, and it's just a third cup of dressing. So let's get that mixed well. It, you know, you're going to want to make that, and it, it's good to have it set for a couple hours. Okay. But we're good, and that's why I wanted just to make that now. Uh, mix that together. We'll put it in the fridge and then we're going to go ahead and make our bagels uh, melt and then we'll show the salsa with that. So we'll okay. just set that in the fridge for a Sounds little bit. good. Okay, so it, this bagel melt is so easy. Um, just take a, I, I do just have the plain bagels, but you certainly I think a garlic bagel or the onion bagels uh, would be really good with this. Okay. I probably wouldn't do the raisin cinnamon or something like that. Well, no. <laughs> but uh, any of that uh, be good. So what we're going to do is just cut this apart here. And we're going to actually put this in the toaster and we're going to toast the bagels. Okay. Uh, for that. And then we're going to... After we put the bacon and the cheese and that on it, we're going to put it in the broiler and just uh, have that uh, mozzarella cheese get melted. So Okay. So we're going to just come over here and uh, pop that in the toaster, and we'll get both of them uh, toasted here. We'll get that one in, and then we'll, you know, bagels do take a little longer to toast than mm -hmm. your bread. So we'll just take a few moments here, and then we'll be back with our viewers. Sounds good. Country Rose Cafe on East Villard is open for breakfast and lunch seven days a week. Enjoy daily homemade specials, caramel and cinnamon rolls, several different kinds of homemade pies made fresh every day. Country Rose Cafe is also famous for homemade soup, including their ever popular Nefla served every Tuesday. While you're in, make sure to pick up your Channel 18 cooking crave recipes and like us on Facebook for different specials and announcements. Country Rose Cafe, the way a cafe should be, located at 837 East Villard in Dickinson. See your VA home loan expert at ENG Lending of Dickinson. Jay Wandler and the professional staff at ENG Lending provide expertise and services that are traditionally offered by the largest financial institutions, all with the local integrity of a local community bank. No wonder why ENG Lending is the area's number one choice for North Dakota veteran home loans. Visit them online at 456loan.com or call 701-250-8166 today. We have our bagels toasted here, so we're going to come over here. And what we're going to do is we do uh, put a couple of slices of tomato on there. Okay. And if you have somebody that doesn't want tomato, that's fine. You can leave the tomato off. So we're going to just make a couple of thin slices here. So it's kind of almost like a BLT melt. Just when you think about it because I mean bacon, well we don't have lettuce, but yeah. And that so we're going to the B and the T add and the C. On. That yeah, really. And we need one more slice here. And really why I'm saying one more slice, we're going to really cater to our cameraman. He doesn't like tomato, and so we're going to leave that off. So sometimes we <laughs> do what we got to do because he tries to film our good sides, which I don't know if that's possible. I don't know. <laughs> so let's put uh, some bacon on. Couple he also films bloopers, which I'm really not forgiving him for either. either. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, so maybe I shouldn't put an extra slice of bacon on there for him, huh? Well, he's on a diet. Go ahead. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here you can take a couple of pieces there. And you, uh, what I like to do many times is when I fry up bacon, I have that uh, job and, uh, and you have that smell in the house anyway. Uh, I like to fry up a couple of pounds because it's great for the, uh, you know, to have uh, for uh, BLTs or the kids wanting to maybe make one of these. Sure. I, I think this could be one of their, their really favorites. And so now let's put some mozzarella cheese on it. And like I say, it, it's just so simple, but yet, you know, 
it's going to be so good. I don't know if you can get the cheese to stay on yeah. there. And you know, uh, what I, uh, it just says mozzarella cheese. What I think though too, if I would have had it, I would have just taken a couple of slices. Yes. And, and put that, that probably would be a little bit easier, but that's good. Then we're going to put that into the oven and the broiler, and we're just going to broil that just till that cheese melts. Okay. You're going to put a generous amount on there. And like I said, yeah, I, I do know that the, you know, slices probably would work a little bit better, but this is what I had, and I just didn't even give it a thought to go get some slices. That's okay. It's going to taste just It's fabulous. going to be just great anyway. It's mozzarella cheese. So. Right. So we have that on, and it's... Uh, I got the broiler on. You want it probably at least five inches from the top of the broiler. Okay. And that, and uh, you know, this, I'm just going to do this one just for that, for somebody special here. Put a little bit of hot sauce in there. Okay, that's a lot. Oh, well, he loves hot sauce. I don't think there's too much of any, so we're going to see that. Now, let's just put that in the oven and just. We're going to want to watch that really close because that's only uh, about a minute or, you know, two minutes at the most. Okay. Until that cheese melts because the broiler is really hot. I got it on high. Okay. So we want to do that. And then we're going to uh, go ahead and uh, get our uh, salsa out. All right. And we're going to just add some into this bowl here. And I would... Uh, I would use the scoops, you know, for uh, the salsa. You know, the scoop chips in yes. there. Whatever, so. See, if nothing else, you know, it looks nice. Well, it, of course, and yeah. I know it's going to be fabulous. Okay, let's just take a peek there. We'll just leave that another, and then maybe that was only 30, 30 seconds, but I know how fast that goes. And then uh, we also want the ranch dressing. Okay. And we're going to just set that, uh, you know, any prepared ranch dressing. Now I like to make my own. So uh, it says, you know, you can serve your uh, bagel melt with ranch dressing. Okay. So we'll just put some in a bowl and, uh, whoop, there. and they can add the amount that they want. You don't sure. have to, it, it's not put on the you know the sandwich in itself so okay let's just see how that's come on. well let's just just about melt it and you know i would say another 30 seconds 30 seconds that might even be a little bit much but we'll <laughs> just wait there and uh oh i think this is gonna be fun for the kids to make well it's easy i mean it's you, you know if, as long as you have your bacon fried up already right you have your slices of tomato and yeah. if they don't like tomato you leave it off yeah and I think uh, the variety of the bagels that they make out there mm -hmm. is going to be fun, sure. you know, that they can make and, and stuff too, so. Okay. There we go. And things there. See that? Well, they said like about a minute and a half with that, so uh, we're going to get our plate over here. And it's probably going to be a little bit hot too the touch there so and you know to me it's not only going to be fun for uh, the kids to make it's going to be fun for any of us and how quick of a sandwich you come home for lunch right and you have bacon in the refrigerator and that's why I say uh, having bacon you know always fried up there there's so many things you can make with and now coming into the season we have those fresh tomatoes and lettuce for BLTs it's, it's going to be, well, it's summer. Everything's better in the summer, right? Absolutely. But we got to show that, you know, we want to put a little salt. I mean, you know, have that dressing on there. All right. All right. Thank you so much for showing how, how easy these recipes yep. are, Mom. Great. To get these recipes, just go to Consolidated's website, www.ctctel.com. Please submit your recipes for us for the rest of our viewers on the show. And when you do, you get your name in the drawing for a handy-dandy cooking-free apron. Got to have one of those? Absolutely. Thank you always to our sponsor, 
and join us next week when we do it all over again. Thank you.